Why, hello there, and welcome to Honkai Star Rail. Uh, updates, updates. Welcome back to Honkai Star Rail. I wasn't really feeling the Minecraft mood. I probably won't be recording for that long yet because I am feeling kind of tired. Well, here I am, staring up into the planet. Okay, let me just do something with it. Hmm. Yeah. What is this about? Ah, this thing. Now let's go talk to this guy. Are you doing okay after your first jump? Dizziness or retching are normal reactions. You'll feel better once you get used to it. Yeah, why aren't you with everyone I enjoy else? being alone. Especially when I have important work to do. That important work being? I went through the Express's database. And it seems the environment on Urelo 6 has undergone drastic changes in the past few centuries. It was not a frozen planet to begin with. So it wasn't a frozen planet to begin with. He said so? Hmm. Considering the spatial obstacles that the Star Rail has encountered, it's highly possible. I've conducted a preliminary survey and found that there's one area with a relatively normal temperature on the surface of the planet. By normal, I mean a temperature that just about allows for human survival. Mm. If I had to choose a site for initial investigation on this trailblazing expedition, that would be it. Uh, as I expected. Before you came, whenever March wanted to go anywhere, Himiko would make Mr. Yang and me go with her. I see. Uh, why? And even after you arrived, I didn't suppose I'd be the one to be liberated of that duty. Hmm. I assume the trailblazing objective this time is to find the Stellaron on Urelo 6 and dispel the effect it's exerting on the Star Rail. Right? That is correct. I see. You should find March. I'll join you two once I'm ready. I mean, she's just right there. It's not. I don't need to exactly go around and play Did searching. Did you talk to Don Hung? How'd it go? I mean, he's right over there. You could probably eavesdrop. <sighs> That's our Don Hung. Always trying to look cool with his poker face. Don't mind him. Relax. Don Hung and I are experienced trailblazers. We got your back. Well, good for you. Well, are you ready? Shh. Sure. When I first saw this planet, I thought a world covered in ice. Could it have something to do with my past? Now I can't stop thinking about it. Still, the ice that trapped me was six-phased ice, a very rare substance. I don't think you can find it on your average planet. Six-phased ice? Excuse me, what the hell is six-phased ice? To be honest, I think I'd be kind of annoyed if I found out this was my home world. It looks freezing. Pretty girls aren't frost resistant. Not in the slightest. What? Is there something on my face? I don't think so. Nah, I was just imagining all the fun we're gonna have here. <laughs> mm. I feel sorry for this world. First the Stellaron, and now you. 
All right, what the hell is that supposed to mean? All right, yeah. here comes the Urelo Six Trailblaze team. How the hell do you mean by that? That and my, what did I do to you? Relo Six, we're here. Uh, it really is one big snowball. Well, the Trailblaze Path grants us faint power. It allows us to better adapt to harsh environments. Uh, snow as far as the eye can see. Which direction should we take? I don't know. You have the experts here. Based on the coordinates. Target should be up ahead. And then what are we waiting for? Let's go. Hmm. Do you want to mention the time we smashed a hole through Tykean Stadium, or shall I? <laughs> okay. Oh, please stop bringing that up. Let's just say that landings and crowds don't mix. You don't say. Unless you enjoy trailblazing through two weeks of community service. Yikes. Just how much damage did they cause? I said drop it! Remember, we should stay vigilant. We know very little about this world. Calm down. Between the three of us, nothing will stand in our way. I mean, come on. You've got a Stellaron in your body. I have my special six-phase dice powers. And Don Hung, uh, he's got that mysterious past thing going for him. Hmm. So if people start creating trouble for us, they're gonna regret it. Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. <laughs> yes, let's not get ahead of ourselves. I don't want to be stuck in community service because of something we did. Braving the unknown? That's the real spirit of Trailblaze. Shit. This place still hasn't been corroded. Yet fragmentum monsters have I don't know why I did that. Hm. Scared yet? Who's the lucky one today? Reach the end of the story in your own way. Is this that one guy who got teleported away? And damn it, I didn't mean to. I didn't. Blah, 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 forget it. Navigation, yes. Interesting. All right, let's see. Let's see here. Okay. Okay. All right, let's. Oh, hey, let's throw hands. Throw so hands with this tree. There it is. I don't remember inviting you. <laughs> A gift from the stars. <laughs> Time for the main event. Everything I want to see. By the stars. Oh, oh, yeah, you're just a blessing. The stars. Give these trailblazers your blessing. All right, now we got speed boost. That's what I'm pretty sure it said. 
Do you have answers? Swear that the good Ready doctor's to voice yourself? sounds very familiar. Fight it or rock with it. My music. Conquer us all. Thank you. I still don't understand why this would be pointless, but eh. Never stop thinking. I mean, if you would stop thinking, wouldn't that technically make you brain dead? Because you're always, your brain is always <laughs> thinking or something. Like Pretty that. good crowd today. <laughs> yeah, wouldn't that make you brain dead if you stop thinking? Because you're always thinking even if, even if you're not actively doing it, like you do it on a subconscious level. These buildings have been buried in the snowfall. Huh? So these are rooftops? How long would snow have to fall to get this thick? A long, long time. Yeah, give or, yeah, give or take months. Maybe some years. Yeah, it's just stinky looking thingy. Do, 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 do. I wish I could jump. Scared yet? Who's the lucky one today? Ah, <sighs> some good damage. Is it with that Void Ranger? It's just an ordinary snowdrift. Are you sure you're not seeing things? I don't know. Of it course could... not. My eyesight's perfect. Come on, let's take a closer look. The mid one has to be perfect, but I'll, I'll humor you. <laughs> hey, get out of there or you'll shiver to death. Holding your breath won't help. At the time, you should be in more pain to get them out of the snow I got pile. This march. <laughs> uh, someone's got their head stuck in the sand, or the snow in this case. They just need a helping hand. Get out! My fine fellow, was that really necessary? He's crawling around in the snow a crime these days. I mean, come on, surely it doesn't warrant a spearing. <laughs> you will stab him with the speaks. You try and kill this guy? What's that? But then again, how can I blame you? I mean, I caught you off guard. It, it had to happen. You could even say I deserved it, huh? Besides, I made a gallant group of new friends as a result. <laughs> mm, makes the guys at least... Makes the guys a bit charming. Uh, is Captain Jeppard around? Uh, he, he's an old buddy of mine. Jeppard? The name sounds familiar. Who? Wait, you're not Silvermane Guards? Well, why didn't you say so? Turns out we're on the same side after all. Mm -hmm. Pleasure to meet you. The name's Sampo Koski. Sampo Koski. Yeah. Excellent. I'll remember the name. Never thought I'd run into friends from the same line of work out here in this frozen wasteland. <sighs> Business is bad these days, but fear not. Sampo Koski isn't interested in hoarding. There's more than enough treasure to go around, so let's get rich together. <laughs> I'm already liking this guy. He brought up treasure, and I do like myself some treasure. He sounds pretty cheery, too. Say, why don't we join forces? I have reliable intel. The main strength of the Silvermane Guards is being deployed to the front line. This is a golden opportunity. 
He's pretty cheery too, the spike man nearly stabbed of a spear. Come now, friends. I can understand the mistrust, but there's no need for the charade. What do you mean? Then again, I know the rules. Vigilance is the name of the game in our profession. It's my fault for letting my enthusiasm and sincerity get the better of me. What? Anyway, a meeting like this has to have been written in the stars. Ask me anything you like. I won't skimp on the details. Still make it snappy. You're never more than 10 feet from a silver main guard. <laughs> yeah, never more than 10 feet from the silver... Jeez. Settlement? What a literary turn of phrase. Why, there's only one place in this world where the living still reside. Our beloved Bellabog. The further away you get, the dicier things become. The city of preservation, the towering citadel, humanity's last bastion against the eternal freeze. It may sound a bit over the top, but those names are grounded in truth. The only place humans can eke out an existence is behind those impregnable walls. Hmm. Something's gonna break those walls, I just feel it now. Me? You guys scared me to death! There I was, looking for relics to sell, when all of a sudden you came stomping over. I thought the silver main guards were paying me a visit. Hmm. Seriously, though? Try treading a little lighter next time, huh? If you run into the guards, they won't hide in a snowdrift, and you'll be in a cell before you know it. Oh, so they're just going to arrest you out of the blue. don't know the silvermane guards are bellabog soldiers enforcers and police let's just say they're not the most flexible of people and they like paying visits to folks in our line of work seems like you guys really are new to the business <laughs> to be young and naive again how about this as a senior in the field which i'm sure you don't mind me saying I'll give you some free guidance. There are ways of doing things in this profession, and you better get familiar with them. Moving in the shadows, finding the goods, pricing your stock, hiding from the guards. There's an art to all of it. So you're a treasure hunter. Is that what I'm picking up? Is that what your place? Is that what you're selling? Is that what you're picking? Put the 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 words. Need. Why don't you just take us to the city? We don't really know the way. The city? Already? We haven't even started trading yet. Well, showing you the way is easy enough, Missy, but it would cost. But, but it would be my pleasure. Kindness is Sampo Kosky's middle name. Follow me, friends, and uh, keep quiet. Want to be spotted by the guards? I think he's intimidated by Dan here. So why were you hiding from the Silver Main guards? Yeah, we're just storing a few relics away from prying yeah. eyes. Nothing serious. If it weren't for the uncompromising nature of our civil service, there'd be no need for secrecy. So where about you guys from anyway? I don't mean to pry or anything. I just care about my friends. No pressure. You were barely mad. How would you, how would you be consider us to be friends? That is that is a bit strange, but I feel like the series get ulterior motives. Rule number seven: Never leave a footprint. I have my own special technique called invisible snow walking. Helps me throw off pursuers in no, no time. That's some good. Ah, oh, well, shit. Uh. You remember the Silvermane guards I mentioned? That's them! <laughs> Help me, old friends! I don't want to be caught! What do you mean, old friends? We bare men, we bare men, not like five minutes ago. It's the suspect and his accomplices. Arrest them! The fuck you mean, accomplice? We just met the guy and he got nearly stabbed by Dan.
did oh, did he straight up and <laughs> did he straight up run? Do you have answers? My man straight up ran, didn't he? Never stop thinking. Let's go. Look, there's good damage too. Take this. Yeah. yeah, it's a light tickle. This song's just for let's rock. Who's the lucky one today? Everything is ordained by the stars. Oh, profound secrets of the stars! Give these trailblazers your blessing. Ready to lose yourself? Fight it or rock with it. My music conquers all. That's some nice damage. I still want to even upgrade those weapons. Or just only their uh, their uh, what you call it thing and their level. Fail. Get out. Oh, I wanted to crush him. Oh dear. Oh shit, we're in trouble now. We're in trouble now, oh dear. Wait. I, Depard Landau, oh. captain of the Silver Main Guards, order you to relinquish your futile resistance. Ugh, that Sambo cheated us all. Wait till I get my hands on him. You're that Geepard guy. Uh, I would thought you say his name. Relinquish your resistance. How about I relinquish your uh, efforts? Wait until I get my hands on you. Yeah, let's just uh, relinquish your at uh, uh, will the fight. SAS Pakibi. And let's crush you. Knowledge is the measure of all things. It reveals truth and falsehood. My favorite animation so far, besides that one girl. Never moon. stop thinking. This is our chance. Zero points. Next. Bonk. Rules are made to be broken. And I'm about to beat you upside the head with this bat. Oh. That hurt. I almost killed him. Prime suspect, the one with the blue hair. Apologies, Captain. We lost him during the pursuit. We can't find his footprints. Yeah, he's gonna take me though. Literally, make sure he doesn't leave any footprints as he's walking. No matter. We have his accomplices. He'll be close by, plotting his next move. The fuck you mean is a couple as we almost, almost beat the bricks off of you. As in forever. I'm not trying to talk our way out of this, but we're not friends with that scoundrel. Did you see how fast he ditched us? We rescued him from the snow out of the kindness of our hearts. We had no idea he might be using us to get past you. I'm a captain, not an adjudication panel. As a Bellabog citizen, you have the right to defend yourself, but that can only take place under the scrutiny of the Architects, not now. Architects? Take them away. Hey, hey, no. No. But we're not from Bellabog. Photo. He's not no more photos. Oh, you're a genius. Great idea. You've probably never seen what your planet looks like, right? I took this one. Behold, Yarilo 6. <laughs> you mean to say that this white ball that's here 
And that's our home? How can that... Uh, sterile run, that's a... It is said that a long time ago, strange visitors from beyond the sky would visit us here. But that after the eternal freeze, the blizzards made passage impossible. And Bellabog would cease to witness such arrivals. Now nah, you're witnessing them right now. But these people are... This decision is beyond us. If what they say is true, then only the Supreme Guardian may decide their fate. Our job is to present them before her. Nothing more. Outsiders, follow me. Bellabog lies beyond this blizzard. Coolio. Finally, some cooperation. Welcome to Bellabog, the city of preservation. You're also lucky, too, as I was about to beat the bricks off of you in that fight. Why does this remind me of Fontaine? Fontaine, but with snow. And ice. That's some old ass cars, too. Hey, it feels like it got a bit warmer. That's because you're in Bellabog, the last bastion of humanity. Yes, that there's soap guy, whatever the hell his name was, he's talking about. Last Bastion? <laughs> 700 years ago, monsters from beyond the sky set the world ablaze. The land was turned to scorched earth, with raging infernos and billowing towers of smoke stretching beyond the horizon. In the midst of the conflict, the eternal freeze descended without warning. Suddenly, sweeping winds brought blizzards which buried the invading legion. Bellabog was all that remained. The steadfast architects built this city. Under the protection of Klepoth, the preservation, Bellabog remains forever warm in the face of unrelenting cold. <sighs> How fast do you think they built this city? You sure seeing some weird stuff. Yes. Marked change in tone. Sounds like he's quoting from a historical record. Of course you'd know. Uh-huh. So why is he telling us all this? You wanted to know. Uh <laughs> Fair enough. Mm, fair enough. Alright, champ. We saw strange creatures outside the city. They must have come from a Terran corroded space. Yeah. A fragmentum, correct? How do you. That's right. Out there in the blizzard, there are still many threats, including the monsters you saw. That guy. The silver uh... main guards are continuously engaged with the enemy, but I'm afraid the situation is bleak. After your meeting with the Supreme Guardian, I would like to consult you on this matter. I think it'll be out. Lacking in intel. We're here. This is Klepoth Fort, the heart of Bellabog and headquarters of the Architects. Koha, quite the Klepoth is the symbol of preservation. Aeon. Under Klepoth's impulsion, the architects constructed Bellabog, thus protecting the spark of civilization from disaster and the eternal freeze. To show our reverence, we named this fortress after the Aeon themselves. The architects, under the protection of Klepoth, have continued to lead this city forward, repelling all manner of disasters. This fortress is also the residence of the Supreme Guardian. The Supreme Guardian? The leader of Bellabog, elected and appointed by the Architects. The Supreme Guardians have watched over this city for generations, sheltering the people from harm. Ah, uh, they seem to be doing a good job. The current Guardian is Madame Kakolia Rand. Every major strategic decision is issued by her. 
Whoa, she sounds like a big deal. I will now bring you to see Madame Kakolia. Please, have your words at the ready. Her time is precious, so she prefers concise communication. All right. Uh, we're gonna see her right now? Can I at least find a place to freshen up first? You've got some snow in your hair, but no one will notice. <laughs> I've dispatched a messenger to send word. Madame Kokolia will be aware of your arrival. Come with me. But that's a meaningless sacrifice. How can you... A meaningless sacrifice? That's not good. <clears throat> you may leave. Branya. Visitors have arrived. We want to know many of sacrifice. You just want their sacrifice not go in vain. <sighs> Though the sad part is that if they die, they, they can only hope that their sacrifice won't be in vain if they do die. Yes, mother. Mother? Hmm. Madam Guardian, I have brought three outsiders to see you. The messenger informed me. Well done, Jepard. You uh, may leave. Jepard. Welcome, visitors from beyond the Eternal Freeze. Or perhaps I should say, from beyond the sky, no? Mm, I'm gonna be inaccurate. <laughs> I am Kokolia Rand. Bellabog's Supreme Guardian. I would be grateful if you could tell me why you have come. <laughs> Do you wish me to doubt it? Or perhaps you are not confident in that identity yourself? <laughs> no, I do not doubt it. I can see that you are not from this world. Yeah, I'm not too confident that it, not too confident that the architects remember the history well, else we should forget it. I know that in the distant past, before the eternal freeze descended or the legion invaded, this world was once prosperous beyond measure. An eon connected our planet to other worlds, and we discovered the endless possibilities of the boundless universe. We also came to know of Klopoth, the Amber Lord. Under their attentive gaze, we built the city walls. So do not be surprised. For 700 years, the architects have received no further communication from the stars. But I knew of your existence. Tell me why you have come. Yeah, we came here for something known as a Stellaron. A Stellaron? Objects that fell from the blue on separate worlds. Their appearance spelled disaster. Many of the planets we visited have suffered their effects. You mentioned invasion by the Antimatter Legion. Soon after their arrival, this planet suffered the eternal freeze. At the same time, the phenomenon known as fragmentum space corrosion began to occur. Correct? Many big words, you, are lo you have lost me. Correct. Stellarons bring about different disasters on different worlds, but every world seeded with a Stellaron will give birth to Fragmentums. You can see us as kind-hearted interstellar public servants, lending a helping hand to any world affected by a Stellaron. <clears throat> Your analysis of our current circumstances is clear. We have indeed suffered the disasters you speak of. Some of which prove vexatious to us even today. But why should you care? She makes a good point. Even if this Stellaron you speak of did bring about disaster, I fail to see its connection to you. I don't believe that anyone would go to such lengths to help a world unrelated to them. 
You're right. Our reason for coming here is not purely selfless. If we don't seal the Stellaron, we cannot leave this planet. If we can get rid of it, your world will be safer, too. You know how to seal the Stellaron. And as at least you're telling me, I don't know. We have the relevant means. Very well, I believe you. If our present situation is truly the result of this so-called Stellaron, then your arrival is the hope that Bellabog has waited 700 years for. I am willing to assist you in any way possible to help you locate the Stellaron. It's getting late, and you must be tired. I will arrange for you to stay in our most comfortable hotel. Rest there and get a good night's sleep. Tomorrow at noon, I will dispatch someone to escort you here. And we can discuss this urgent matter in greater detail. I feel like she's gonna try something shifty as... Things go on. Doesn't feel right. But of course. You are Bellabog's honored guests and have the highest privileges afforded to you. I too need some time. I will go over our records for anything that may be connected to Stellarons. Please excuse me for not escorting you further. What's that sound? Of course, I understand. Ah. Oh. Do not worry. I have a way. Do I need to beat the- oh, that smile. I think I may need to beat the brakes off of you. Red flags. It seems that the Supreme Guardian holds you in high regard. I have received orders that your movements are no longer to be restricted. Oh, well, that's good. She's the big shot! Definitely got that Queen of the Castle vibe going on. Oh, so cool. It was pretty interesting. <laughs> I'm afraid I still have duties to attend to. I must return to my post. I hope you enjoy your stay in Bellabog. Hey, you have fun kicking rocks or whatever it is you do at the post. Uh, wait, can you recommend some sites? It's not that late. We want to take a look around. Not that late. The sun is still shining high in the sky. Is that well, the sun, or I'd say is the that Golden Theater and the History Museum are thing. both worth a look. However, you'd need a pass to get into the museum. I recommend you visit Everwinter Monument first. It's Bellabog's most symbolic landmark. And if you enjoy music, you could head to Neverwinter Workshop. You can sometimes catch an outdoor performance there. The artist is... <sighs> You'll see. Are they eccentric? Oh, and if you're staying at Goethe Hotel, please avoid the alley that runs next to it. The one with Silvermane Guard stationed there. It's started to be affected by corrosion recently, so it's been sealed off. So the corrosion is inside the city. Well, that's a grave situation. Yes, we're mounting a resistance as we speak. I must leave now. I hope all goes well for you. I'll do this to Jericho, then I'm getting off. Wow, look at the carved ice! It feels perfect for this city somehow. Yeah, it looks pretty lovely. Whatever it's made of, it can't be ice. Oh? Uh... I guess you're right. It's actually pretty warm in the city. Uh, hey, what's with all the children over there? Should we go and take a look? I mean, it's warm, but it's not warm enough about the snow over there on the ground. My children. These children? So let me introduce myself. I'm the intelligence officer for the Silvermane Guards, and a temporary guide for the A Journey Through Bellabog's History Program. My name is Pelageya Sergeyevna, but you can call me Pela. 
Yes, Miss Ayla. And perhaps the grown-ups among us could refrain from acting like children? <laughs> okay, guys. Take a look over here. This is Everwinter Monument. It was erected to commemorate the mighty architects. But you did say to refer to you as Pela. The architects are followers of the Eon Clipod. It was they that foresaw Crisis, built up our walls, and established Balabog, preserving the spark of human civilization. Even today, they are still tending to the city. Mm, impressive. Everwinter Monument is made up of two parts, a gear symbolizes knowledge and industrial strength and huge ice crystals that symbolize the eternal free. These two symbols are bound together, the gear restricting the ice. It represents the unyielding spirit of the architects in the face of nature's barbaric. Any questions? Oh, they don't get, I don't get the option that. I don't get the option to ask a question, that's a bit sad. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, damn, I got a friend request. Sure. Yeah. I know I should, but oh, I want to go see the uh, the artist or anything else. Never winter workshop. Hey, didn't Japard say there'd be a show here? He said you can sometimes catch an outdoor performance. Sometimes being the operative word. Yes, and I hear a bell. Darn! I wanted to see one. You see that heater over there? Why do they keep it outdoors? This city is so weird. Alright, three gongs, so I guess it's like three in the afternoon for them? Normally you'd want a heater inside a building, right? If so, I'm not sure mighty is the right word for these architects. Tiny heaters are no use against the Stellaron disaster. <laughs> you guys sure have a lot to say about that broken heater. Oh, wow, she's cool. Hi there. The name's Serval. I'm the owner of this workshop. If you got any broken equipment lying around, you can always come find me, though I can't guarantee I'll be interested in fixing it. Oh, uh, we're okay. I was just curious about the heater. Curious? About the heater? It's just a standard Geomero radiator. You can find them anywhere in the administrative district. Hmm. Very that common? Huh? What's wrong with that? Everyone around here knows the way I work. Hmm. Bizarre. Figured it out. I heard a loudmouth guard say that a group of outsiders had met with Cocolia. You must be them? What an honor. Where are my manners? We can talk about heaters all day if you like. Let's have a chat. Mm, she changed her tune real fast. Oh. 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 Gimme. Alright, let's take a peek and get this over with. Alright, let's talk, hon. The heater you saw is just a standard Geomero radiator. They may not look like much, but they're a real lifeline to the people. 
The blizzards here are brutal. If we didn't have a reliable way of keeping warm, Bellabog would long since have become a dead city, both above and below the surface. You didn't him? know? No. Bellabog is structured like two big connected disks. The overworld is responsible for administration and trade, while the underworld is responsible for energy supply and resource extraction. However, due to an order that was given many years ago, nobody has moved between the overworld and the underworld in a long time. Why? Ah, I shouldn't be talking about this. Pretend no, I never no. said anything. What do you mean? What do you, why was that? Why was that? Those people are down there are suffering. Most, it's an um, most... A special energy resource. Whether it's keeping the city warm or keeping our counters ticking, everything runs on Geomero. Geomero grows beneath the surface of the planet, and specialist underworld mining teams are there to extract it. Transport lines shuttle it up to the surface. In the overworld, we use the same lines to ship surface goods and aid down to the underworld. But there's people down there. Why would that order be? Why would an order there would be stop interaction between to the overworld and the underworld? Or well, the 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 underground. Why would that be made? Isn't it just like cooking food over an open flame? If the house is a pot, then the heater is the stove it rests on. When she puts it like that, it actually starts to make sense. No sweat. This is your first time in Bellabog. I just want you to feel some of the warmth the city has to offer. Hey, seeing as there's nothing on your plate just now, want to help me fix up this machine? Just a bit of manual labor. You might find it interesting. Great. Then let me give you a demonstration first. Alright, let's get this thing off. Ooh. I got this. So I'll get this thing off my screen. I got this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got to get this thing to connect. Easy. So that's how it works. Nice. You guys are pretty handy. You picked that up in no time. Want to be my assistants? Average pay, but I'm a good boss. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Do you just say yes to everything? <laughs> I was only kidding. Just a joke. I know, I can use the credit. I can use the credits. Well, I'd better carry on here. Why not have a better look around? My workshop will always be open to you. And your wallets, of course. <laughs> of course. When I put enough Bioshock in, to see a uh, puzzle like that when I see one. Oh, I can interact with it? Hmm. Around here. Hmm. Hmm. Not many feathers. Large gear. Like there's really anything worth looking in here. Time to leave. Alright. What's this? Part of a monster. <sighs> well, I'm getting off now. This video, if I felt like it's been shorter, shorter than the others, but that's no, but that's no sh biggie. Sometimes better have shorter videos, sometimes it isn't. It just depends on how long you want to go for, or how long a video a person wants to see, but, eh. Well. This is the end of the video, and goodbye.